So it takes up, it covers three different states actually, it's so big. But in the park, there's actually, there's a geyser. You might know what a geyser is. What is it? It's one of those things that shoot water. That's exactly what it is. So it's what shoots water and smoke up into the air. So at Old, at um, Yellowstone National Park, there's one that's called Old Faithful. It's one of the most known geysers in the entire world. It's what I was supposed to have a picture of. However, last year, Sandy and Larry and Bruce actually took a visit to Yellowstone National Park, and they were able to visit. So they have a little bit of a picture there. You guys can see it later. Can you describe that for us, Sandy, about what made Old Faithful so unique and special? Well, part of it is, well, it's pretty cool because it goes way up high in the air, and this one has an actual vice in it just roamed right in front of it. So try that. So what makes it special is it's, it goes off almost the same exact time. And it makes water. Yeah, it makes water. Pretty close. And also, while we were watching the video before uh, it was time for it, and there was an announcement that came over the speaker, and I couldn't hear what they said. And everybody got up and took off. And then I was like, "What's?" I thought it was a fire or something. I didn't, it was apparently another geyser that, that was going off. And the bumblebee. Nobody would tell me what it was. I just followed the crowd. Panic. <laughs> Good thing you didn't panic, though. Yeah. yeah. So Old Faithful, they got its name because, like Sandy said, it's it's known to go off. They say about every hour, right? So they say about every hour you can catch Old Faithful. It's just known that it will do that. But in reality, it goes off about every thirty, anywhere from thirty-five minutes to about an hour and a half. There's yeah. that much of a span. So in this case, Old Faithful, the term faithful is used as being dependable. Do you know what the word dependable means? Yeah, so what dependable means is that you can pretty much know that it's, it's always going to happen or someone's always going to be there and do what they say. So you can rely that it's going to happen. That's what dependable means. So that's what Old Faithful means in this time. So knowing that something would always happen, or somebody would always be there, do you guys have any friends or family that you can really, really depend on and be faithful in? Yeah? Yeah. So we know that if we call them, they probably will play with us. Or our parents, we can depend that they'll always provide food, shelter, love us, right? I know sometimes if Adam was here today, um, a good example for a friend dependable, he, he calls his friend Brad a lot to play online video games right now in the course of quarantine. They both have headsets now so that they can <laughs> hear each other play their video games. But sometimes they call each other, even as adults, and one can't play at the time. Maybe they have to sit down for dinner, or maybe we have to go somewhere. So we can't always depend on people all the time. But is there someone that we know that we hear a lot about in church that we can't always depend on? Who's that? Yeah, so anytime we need to talk to someone, or we need someone to be there, or to understand, or to love. That's just pretty awesome. And so Old Faithful, even though just about the right time, we know Old Faithful is going to go off, but every time we know we can depend on Jesus. And that's pretty awesome. Cool. Anybody like to pray for us today? Anybody have any prayer before we head on back? Do you want to pray for us? All right, let's go ahead. Amen. Thank you guys so much. Have an awesome week, everyone. All right. Thank you, Samantha.